Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, room five. How do you do? Good morning, guys. How's everybody feeling? Excellent. I hope you're all feeling excellent. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Uh, last week was week of the young child. We are finished with week of the young child. I hope you had so much fun with all of those activities for each of the days. Um, if you didn't get a chance to do them, hopefully you get a chance to do them this week. You can do them at any time. Um, so we're going to go into our calendar. Today is going to be the only day that we're doing circle time this week because Miss Melissa is not feeling very well. So we're going to fill in all of our dates. When we get to our days of the week, we're going to fill in all of the days from today just so we can see the numbers in our number line. But today will be the only circle time video for this week, okay? All right, let's go into our calendar. So we are in our brand new month, right? We started our new month la on Friday last week. Let's sing the month of the year song so we can remember what month we are in. All right, here we go. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, then December. There are 12 months in a year. So... We are in the month of May. We said bye-bye to April and hello, May. Let's spell May together. It's a very short word. It's very small, right? Let's spell it. M-A-Y spells May. We are in the month of May. Let's see what day of the week it is. So yesterday was Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday. Yesterday was one of the days of the weekend, and it was a beautiful weekend, right? Yesterday was Sunday. If yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday. Let's sing the weeks, the days of the week song, just so we can go in order and go down, right? To figure out every day. All right, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday, then there's Monday. There's Tuesday, then there's Wednesday. There's Thursday, then there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 All right, so we know that yesterday was Sunday and today is Monday. Yesterday was three. What number comes after three? Let's think. One, two, three. Four. Four. So today is Monday, May 4th. Right? What number would tomorrow, to oh, Tuesday be? What comes after four is five. Five. Tuesday is the 5th. Cinco de Mayo. That's a, a holiday in Mexico, right? We'll be celebrated here too. Um, so Tuesday is five. What's after five? Six. Three, four, five, six. All right, so Wednesday is six. What about the next day? Thursday. Let's see, after six is seven. Seven. All right, let's see if we can figure out what's next. Let's start from the beginning. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Friday. Have a Friday dance and Friday will be eight. And then Saturday, our first day of the weekend, after 8, is 9. Let's count all of them all the way down together. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those are our dates this week. All right, very good, guys. All right, let's go into our red versus yellow. Let's count them quickly and see how many we have. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Let's see how many yellow. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, which one's more? Yellow, right? Because we know that seven is bigger than six. But what if I did this? What if I put one more red? What would happen if I put one more red? What do you think? Let's see. If I added one more red, it is, so now this is seven and this one's seven. That means they are equal. They're the same. If you added one more to six, they will both, it would be seven and these are both seven now. So it is equal. All right, awesome. Okay, friends, so today is also the beginning of our brand new unit. We say bye-bye to plants, right? We're finished talking about plants. So we're starting our brand new unit. And we're going to be talking about, what's this? Babies. We're starting our brand new unit on little teeny tiny babies. And we have some vocabulary words that we'll need to know when we talk about our unit on babies, right? We have diaper. Babies wear diapers, right? They can't go to the bathroom like big kids like you. So they wear diapers. They wear a bib. They drink from a bottle. They sit in a car seat. But a car seat isn't only for babies, right? Some big kids sit in car seats too because it keeps you safe when you're driving in a car. They sleep in a crib. We know babies cry. They sleep. They move from one place to another, transportation, in a stroller. And babies who are just born, little teeny tiny babies are called newborns so these are our vocabulary this week and this week we're going to be focusing on what do human babies need right there's all different types of babies there's animal babies there's um human babies there's different types of animal babies right but what do human babies need well that's what we're gonna focus on this week all right i'll see you guys in the next video have a great week